Let's go through operating the fourth generation Versu. In Versu model, we have a choice of four speed ranges, A, B, C, and D. In each range, there are five power shift gears. From the A pillar on the right and the armrest display, you can see which range and power shift gear is selected. The speed range is changed with the gear levers plus or minus buttons. When minus is pressed once, a pop-up window will appear and range B will be selected. When the button is pressed once again, the tractor changes to range A. The ranges can be changed during operation without using the clutch pedal. The plus button is used to change up to the higher ranges from A to B and from B to C. Changing between C and D can be done with the plus button or it can be automatic if C and D automatic has been turned on in the armrest screen. Press the black button underneath the shuttle which gives direct access to the transmission settings. Scroll down the list to the third row, which is for C and D automatics. When the box has a cross, the tractor changes both up and down automatically between C and D range. Now press the escape and return back to the main menu. Now let's drive. The gear lever has two positions. On the left is manual mode, and on the right is automatic mode. In automatic mode, you'll find the Auto 1 symbol appears in the A pillar and on the armrest screen. In manual mode, the five power shift gears are changed within each speed range by pushing the gear lever forward to select a higher gear or pulled backwards to engage a lower gear. The transition to automatic mode is only a small movement of the lever to the right, easy and convenient and can also be done while driving. When we start driving, we'll see in practice how easy the gear lever makes operating the tractor. I'm now changing to range A. Versu also has creeper gears. To engage the creeper gears, the tractor has to be stationary. By pushing the minus button for three seconds when in A range, the creeper gear engages and a snail symbol appears in the A pillar and on the armrest display. Now creeper gear A4 has been selected. By pulling the gear lever back, we can choose the slowest possible gear, which is A1, that has a maximum speed of approximately 450 meters per hour. By pushing the gear lever forward, we can change up to a higher power shift gear. Then we can change the creeper range to B with the plus button. There we also have five more power shift gears. The fastest speed in creeper range is four and a half kilometers per hour. By pushing the plus button again for more than three seconds, we come out of the creeper ranges and back into the normal A range. While driving the tractor, the gear lever can be in manual mode where the power shift gears are changed manually or in automatic mode when the tractor is looking for the optimum power shift gear automatically and tries to keep the engine revs as low as possible. Let's put the shuttle into forward and start driving. We have gear B1 and Auto 1 selected. If the gear lever is moved to the manual mode while driving, the gears can then be changed by pushing the gear lever forward. When the tractor is accelerating and we need more speed, push the plus button and C range will be engaged. The tractor will now automatically speed match to the best suited power shift gear. Now, when driving in C range, we push the gear lever to automatic mode and push the accelerator further. We notice that the tractor quickly picks up speed and smoothly changes up through the gears automatically at low revs. If the tractor has a heavy load, it automatically uses higher engine revs before changing to a higher gear. Now we are driving in C5 while still accelerating. The tractor changes automatically to D range and looks for the best power shift gear. When decelerating, the tractor automatically changes down through the power shift gears and also down from D to C range. This makes driving a Versu tractor very easy. When we want to stop the tractor, 
we can do it by simply pressing the brake pedals without the clutch and then when we release the brakes the tractor starts to move again. Another very practical feature in Versu tractors is hill hold. For example, if we want to stop in the middle of a steep hill, just push the brake pedals to stop the tractor. Keep the brake pedals pushed and apply the parking brake with the shuttle lever. Put the shuttle lever back to forwards, keeping your foot on the brake pedals and then release the brake pedal. This way, the park brake stays on and you can start to drive again by simply pushing the accelerator. The tractor will pull away smoothly without rolling backwards. Try it once again. Stop the tractor with the brakes and keep the brakes on. Apply the parking brake and then put the shutter lever back into the forwards position. Then release the brake pedals. The tractor remains stationary, so to move the tractor again, simply push the drive pedal. This function is very good on any transport work or any other jobs where you need to stop often, especially on steep hills or slopes. Okay, let's move on. And as you can now see, we have C range selected and also Auto 1. Now the tractor automatically chooses the right power shift gear and engine revs. If we want to keep this power shift gear, we can move the lever to the left and maintain more revs with the accelerator. Now we almost have 2000 revs which can only be done with the lever in manual mode. When we come to a better road we can set auto 1 on by moving the gear lever back across to the right. Now the tractor changes automatically to D range and we get more speed. When we want to stop the tractor with auto 1 on it automatically changes down all the way down to C1. We can stop the tractor easily just with the brake pedal. If we come to a junction with a heavy load and in auto 1 we know that the tractor can comfortably pull away in range D, we can change the gear lever back into manual mode, this will prevent an unnecessary change back to C range. From the armrest display we can follow the engine revs changing. When we go to the main road and start accelerating we can move the gear into auto 1 again and the automatics will take care of changing the gears. Engine revs stay low at around 1500 rpm. Versu is travelling at 53 km an hour using 1900 rpm. It's quiet and it's economical. If we're driving in hilly conditions we should remember that our speed at the moment is around 43 km per hour in D5. This speed can also be reached in D4. In manual mode we can gear down to D4, the speed will stay the same but we get more engine revs and more power to pull uphill if needed. Now we have 1900 rpm with D4 and the speed is still 43 km per hour. Now we can activate Auto 1 again and the tractor changes automatically back up to D5, therefore saving fuel. If in a field situation doing haulage work, often there comes a time when the tractor is constantly changing from say C3 up to C4, which is then too high a gear so it automatically changes back down again. We can prevent these changes by pressing the power shift limit button next to the gear lever. You can see that here we're driving in D3. If you don't want the tractor to go up to D4 or D5, simply press the power shift limit button. You can see that in the A pillar display there is a number 3 and an arrow underneath the auto 1 symbol. Now we can get more revs with the accelerator, but the tractor is not changing up a gear. We have 2000 revs, but the power shift gear is staying in third. When we deactivate the limiter by pressing the same button again, we see immediately that the automatics change the power shift gear up to 5 and the engine revs drop, therefore making it more economical to drive. This feature is really good, especially when working in the field. So, remember that moving the gear lever to the left, we get manual mode. By pulling the lever back, we get a lower power shift gear and less speed. If in D range and we pull the lever back we can automatically go into C range. If driving in manual mode with C2 and we want to accelerate as quickly as possible just push the accelerator and push the gear lever forward and hold it there. The tractor accelerates quickly all the way up to D5. 
Same applies if you want to slow down rapidly. Just keep the lever pulled back and the tractor decelerates quickly with the help of engine braking. We recommend using Auto 1 when driving on the road. You can use Auto 2 where you can set the engine rev to automatically control the gears when changing up or down.